praise the Lord. This is the continuation of the testimony of Jesus. So we have to cut the best part so that it will not be too long for you on social media. You know, some of you don't like watching a very long video. So what we are saying is that imagine that the Bible was not written. And this Bible is the testimonies of people. Testimonies of the encounters that people have had with God, the blessings that God had given. And from there, we derive principles of God from it. We derive principles of God from the Bible. And the Bible said the word that, that are written, the words that are written in the Bible is able to comfort us. We, we are able to get comfort from the scripture. Now, imagine that these whole stories were not written. What would have become of us? We would just have been floating. We would not have had any bearing. So that is the, uh, the power of testimony right there. That is the power of testimony. So the spirit of prophecy is when the Holy Spirit gives us an encouragement through the things that has happened. So when you are reading the story of Joseph, for example, in the Bible, you will something will happen to you, something will come on you. And that thing that comes is what we call the spirit of prophecy, which will make you able to see that if God saw this man through, this man through, he will see me through. That encouragement that you get from that story that you have had is what we call the spirit of prophecy. I hope you understand. So we have the gift of prophecy, which is the grace that is given to a man to be able to say things that will surely come to pass as inspired by the Holy Spirit. There is prediction which has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. Prediction has nothing to do. That one is just guess what? It's just a brain work. You just calculate your mathematics and you see this uh, football club will beat this other one. And you predict the score. You predict the economy. This is what will happen next year uh, to, uh, to the economy of Nigeria according to the trend of things, the way it's going now. That one is pure prediction. It has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. But the gift of prophecy has everything to do with the Holy Spirit. It is the grace that is released upon you to be able to say things that will surely come to pass. Even you don't know how it will come to pass. and But it will surely come to pass as inspired by the Holy Spirit. Now, the gift of prophecy is the encouragement you receive from the stories of others, especially from the Bible. As you are reading the stories of how God did with Abraham, with Isaac, with Jacob, with Joseph, with David, with Jephthah, with Joshua, with uh, John, with Peter, you get encouragement. That encouragement that you get from it, that makes you believe that if God could do it for them, he can do it for me. That is what we call the spirit of prophecy. I hope you understand that very well. It is the steering of the Spirit that brings about encouragement, motivation, and assurance of a repeat of God's past action in your life. The steering of the Spirit, I'm talking about the gift of prophecy, uh, the, the Spirit of prophecy, is the steering of the Spirit that brings about encouragement, motivation, and assurance of a repeat of the past acts and actions of God. What God did in the past, as your spirit is stirred up that this thing can be repeated, you too can get your own miracle. You too, God will see you through because it's so, so, and so through. And this encouragement or comfort can come from the scripture. We have uh, what we call the comfort of the uh, comfort of the scripture in Romans 15 verse 4. It says through the comfort of the scripture we are able to have hope. That hope that you have when you read the story is what we call the spirit of prophecy. I pray that ah, your life will be mightily blessed by the Lord. In the name of Jesus, the thing is turning in on. Amen. So the spirit of prayer, that comfort, that assurance, that motivation you get from the testimony, either the written word or the current 
contemporary testimony of people, of what God has done in the lives of people. I said it in the first video that that is why it is important for us to take testimonies in church. Because if people are not giving testimony, they are not telling what happens to them, some others will not be encouraged. They will not know whether what they are doing is profitable. They won't know that it pays to give sacrifice. They won't know that it pays to be a giver. They won't know it, that it pays to pray. They will think, oh, why? But when people are coming up to testify, I did this and God did this for me. I, I waited on him. I passed through this. You read their story. You see their challenges and how they waited on God and God saw them through. You too will be encouraged. That motivation, that encouragement, that stirring that you receive, that assurance that you receive, that that thing can also happen to you is what we call the spirit of prophecy. Now, the testimony of Jesus, therefore, is simply the telling of the actions of Jesus, which has capacity to be repeated. The testimony of Jesus is the telling, the telling of the actions of Jesus, which has the capacity to be repeated again and again. That is what we call the testimony of Jesus. And the Bible defines the testimony of Jesus as what? As the spirit of prophecy, according to Revelation 19, verse 10. See, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy, the encouragement that brings about the repeat of the action of the past actions of God. I hope.